Today we are going to paint a snowy landscape. Welcome! Good evening guys and welcome back to my channel. I have been outside uh, today and uh, tried out some new equipment, a new camera and uh, a tripod. So I got inspired to do some uh, winter landscape and uh, let's try an easy one so all of you can make this even if you are a beginner. So um, I have been asked several times about what I use in case of material. And I'm trying to not focus on materials as this is a channel for beginners. But uh, if you absolutely need to know, I have, um, this time I use arches, 300 grams uh, cotton paper. And uh, mostly I'm going to use um, my Windsor Newton number seven sable because it has this nice tip you can see i have already painted today <laughs> so uh, i also going to probably use a rigger also winsor newton uh, i think it's a zero i have used it so much so i don't have any number left but I think it looks like a zero and another brush I often use is uh, pan art professional brush for watercolors and this is a number four and I also have a number two from the same series looking like that but uh, I really have uh, understand how uh, professionals can do such fine lines with big brushes. And uh, I did understand that when I saw the tip of this one. So it is more fun if you have materials that are a little bit more expensive. Even if I try to use things that are uh, kind of in the middle of expensiveness. I don't want to buy really expensive things if you are not sure that you are going to be painting more than maybe once in a while. So then I'm using all different kind of uh, paints, uh, Daniel Smith, and I also have uh, Windsor Newton Paints Grey, it's a fav favorite. Also a Van Dyke Brown is also a, a color I like much, and I also have a couple of uh, not tube colors from Daniel Smith that are granulation, high in granulation. But then I have Daniel Smith's uh, brown iron oxide that I use a lot of, um, Prussian blue. I have Vincent Newton also Oprah Rose. Permanent sap green, and this is uh, is uh, Indian uh, Trini blue. It's 
a kind of light blue. I use that for skies sometimes. So uh, that is mostly the colors I use at the moment. And then I have some Vincent Newton Cotman for maybe a bit of yellow. And I also have a Vincent Newton Professional um, yellow okra. It's also nice to have. Okay. Should we start painting? It's a really, really easy one. And uh, I hope we can pull this off when I say it's an easy one. I have uh, just uh, drawn a line where I want my horizon, horizon line. And a couple of trees and then the snow. It was like a fairy tale in the forest today, so I got inspiration to paint snow. But uh, I don't want to do evergreen trees or uh, things like that. It's a bit maybe too difficult to start with. So let's go back to basic and see if we can pull this off. So um, let's uh, wet the sky area first and uh, I have my uh, board on a little bit of angle just so I can make sure that uh, the color will run down. And I'm going to use paint gray and a little bit of Opera Rose into the blue color so we get a little bit of it was a little bit of sunset today I don't want any puddles so I'm making sure that the water is uh, soaking in it was a nice I want a nice uh, sheen on it so hopefully the sky will run down for me So then I'm going to wet this area and just using my water that is a bit uh, dirty. So we get kind of a snowy feeling. going to tone this part of the paint gray down a little bit taking some clear water and just making it flow down a little bit so I can pick it up
I'm uh, waiting a little bit so that the color is a little bit damp before I go in uh, with the trees. And I'm uh, taking some paint spray and I will kind of do some brush strokes so it looks almost like it's dry brushed. hint of snow just going to pick up a little bit so it's not so perfect Okay, I'm going to go in uh, with the tree while well, it's still a little bit damp. I hope uh, that it will be perfect. And uh, it's important that you don't have too much water in your brush when you're going in to damp, then it's going to spread unconditionally. So I'm taking a brush, my brush and just uh, using the paints gray almost without water so I want it would spread a little bit but not too much I want to paint to be drier than the damp paper. it off so it's still uh, not too much color in it. More color than water but not too thick.
going in with my paper towel and just taking off a little bit of the color so it's not so I want a thinner layer to begin with and then I maybe put on a little bit more so we get a little difference in value Before this uh, will be left to dry, I'm going to just do some dragging with my card to kind of see if I can drag in some stamps. I think it's a little bit too wet. I need to wait a little bit. So we can get some light stems on it. Puddle here I don't want to have. Soaking that up. Just doing some foreground grass. while we are waiting.
Okay, let's leave this to dry a little bit and then we can uh, go back in and um, give the stems some uh, more branches. So um, this is uh, dry enough now so that we can go in and give it a little bit more darkness on some parts. I just want kind of part of it to have a little bit more darker areas. Toning down the line a bit. I don't want this. I don't want any hard lines. I want just the color to kind of be a bit darker. In the foreground and Kind of in this corner. Dark in a few spots. Soften this a little bit more, but still kind of a line, so we have a bit of higher and lower parts with the snow. I don't like those line in the sky, but uh, I think it's not so much I can do now. I probably should have uh, dragged uh, my brush through it when it still was wet, so it has gone the other way, or maybe tilted it. But, uh, we learn as we paint, so I guess that's it. Okay guys, I think uh, this was my contribution for today's painting. I'm uh, going to do a, a sketchbook painting um, probably tomorrow where we will uh, paint up these uh, colors that I use so you can see how they look and uh, maybe do a little uh, note so we have this little wood card with uh, samples 
so that we can see every color a bit easier when we are going to use them. Okay, thank you so much for watching and I hope this was a a uh, painting that you felt you could try. I am still struggling and uh, need to try to do some more practice. But uh, for now I think it's uh, quite nice and I like the little pinkish tone in the sky that it was uh, for real today when we was out in the forest. I will put up a few pictures for you so you can see how beautiful it was in the forest. So uh, see you soon again. Until next time. Bye bye from Sweden.